Hi, so my name is Kate and I am the creator and owner of Kate and Barrel Designs in Tucson, Arizona. And we basically here restore, refinish, reimagine uh, furniture. So I picked up this really awesome uh, ornate table. Unfortunately, the years have not been good to it. It hasn't really been taken care of. Um, and so it has a lot of wear um, and varnish that's been worn down on its top and then also right here on its kind of middle section as well. So I wanna clean this up. So I'm gonna keep this, I'm not gonna paint this table. This is gonna say all natural, but it needs some love, it needs to be cleaned up. So the first thing I need to do is remove the existing poly and varnish that's over it. So in order to do that, I'm actually gonna use some steel wool. So this is a double hot steel wool, and this is my heavy duty <laughs> container of denatured alcohol. So, um, and I'm gonna use it straight, which is pretty, pretty rough, but it does its job. So, um, and what it'll do is just break down the existing finish that's left and crackled on here. And in order, in order for me to be able to kind of refinish it the way that I want to. Um, so basically I'm wearing gloves. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some denatured alcohol on my pad. And I'm gonna start in and just gently in circular motions, just gently go through here. and sort of kind of clean this up. And you'll see like once this starts to dry and it's removing that kind of crackly finish. I don't really want to take a piece of sandpaper to this right now. And I didn't want to take a strong piece to it, but you can already see, hopefully you guys can see that. So this is the existing finish and here it is already off. So there was literally almost no finish still on here. So it's coming off extremely easily because it was in such rough shape. So that existing finish is just coming right off. And I want to keep this really pretty pattern on here. So I didn't want to sand it or do anything crazy in that aspect to it either. So I'm just going to get a little bit more on here and change over to a different section of the pad as well. This is also, if you guys work on um, vintage furniture or anything like that, this is a great way to kind of remove that alligator skin. So that crackly varnish that's on here. And it's just coming right off. It's coming off so easy. It's, I mean, I've never had, had an existing finish come off so easily. <laughs> it's just so bad. So hopefully you guys can see, that's the existing finish that's coming off onto the pad. I just wanna make sure I'm getting all of it off. Actually has a really cute little drawer on it too. You can hear the drawer banging. <laughs> Probably should have taken that out. Wow. So easy. I've never had it be this easy. But again, that's how bad the finish was on this. Use 
a steel wool to kind of clean up. Like this has this really awesome like metal accents all over it. Steel wool will just kind of clean that up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull you guys down. So hopefully you can see this little kind of section in here. And I'm gonna start working on that a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. Now, grab a shop towel and basically what I like to do is just put some denature onto the shop towel like this. There's enough on there. And I kind of do one last like wipe. Kind of remove anything that's still on there, like excess wise. This is such a pretty table. So, the flat surfaces are really what's been damaged the most, and the um. The legs really haven't had anything kind of happen to it. So it's kind of interesting how that's happening. So there's a couple of things that I can do now. Let this dry out, which isn't going to take very long because it's alcohol, right? So it's just going to go ahead and dissipate, right? So the next thing that I can do is I can go ahead and actually um, do a light sand. So that ring's still kind of there. I can still kind of see it. I'm sure you guys can see it now a little bit better. Um, so I'm thinking a nice light sand, at least to smooth everything out, um, is a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and snag Two kind of like sanding pads They're like this They're from surf truck pro um this one's a fine and this one's just very fine so i want to be careful because the sanding direction is very odd on these so i'm actually probably gonna start with the very fine and kind of go around like to do is go ahead and just apply some salve. So I'm going to grab some Wiseau salve. This looks really nice. And this poor baby. 
baby just needs to be conditioned and loved. So let's see how much. I'm just gonna use a rag since it's a really small space. I think my brush is in the other room, to be honest. So I've got some lavender. So this is the lavender. This is just a wise owl salve. Comes in a tin like this. This is an eight ounce. I actually sell it on my website, kateandbarreldesigns.com. Um, I sell a bundle option with the brush that comes with it. Um, the brush is absolutely fantastic. I'm just gonna, because this is such a small space, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some to a rag and just condition it. So this is a conditioner and a protector. So it's going to protect it from, from abuse, right? But it's also going to condition it and give it some love, right? So this is thirsty, it needs some love. So in that aspect, that's what we're gonna give it because that's what it's kind of desperate for right now. If I was planning on painting a piece, this wouldn't be going on it. <laughs> you can use this to seal your paint. You can use this to seal wood, unfinished wood, finished wood for extra protection, conditioning, kind of whatever you need it to do. It's a catch-all. Um, you can use it on leather, it's fantastic. So pretty much anything and everything, stainless steel, all that good stuff can be used on everything. So, Look at that tabletop now. Doesn't it just look beautiful? It just really, really needed some love. So it's still a little crinkly and, you know, still agey looking, but it definitely looks kind of refreshed and renewed, right? So lavender smells really good too. There's like seven different scents, so it's pretty awesome stuff. So let's go ahead. See what we can do down here. with that ring with the sap it's probably not going to get rid of all of it um but i'm okay with that things things like this pieces like this that have been used and loved that's, that's what you're going to find with them you're going to have some character and i'm okay with that so i'm done i'm just going to take my rag Put a little bit of salve on it. Get it right in that ring area first. The salve also deodorizes, which is awesome. So I love to use it inside of drawers, like old vintage furniture drawers that have been closed and musty. You can just see 
see the difference already and how amazing this looks. Yes, I can still see a slight ring, but it's not the same as it once was, that's for sure. Ta-da! I could probably even apply a second coat, to be honest, to the top here. It just needs so much love. So there you go. So that's kind of how you can easily take off an existing finish on um, an older piece that kind of has that crackle feel to it. Um, now it's just kind of nice and smooth and feels good and can be used and loved again. So again, my name is Kate. I'm the owner and creator of Kate and Barrel Designs here in Tucson, Arizona. And if you have any questions or comments, by all means, feel free to leave them below. Um, if you are looking for Wise All products, you can find them on my website, which is kateandbarreldesigns.com. The link will be in the description. And I hope you have a great day, you guys. Thanks so much for watching.